Howdy y'all, DJ TJ here with Inkscape Project, Layers Contrast. Okay, so right now I'm showing an example of a Layers Contrast project that was done by one of my students, Omar. Uh, you notice he's using silhouettes here and he's sort of layered the action that's going on and it gets sort of you know lighter and darker as it goes back and you can see all these layers it shows depth and that's one of the things we're trying to work on in these projects is showing depth I'm gonna click through a couple of examples of just sort of what some of the students have done this is a very good one by Xavier it's got like some deep meaning going on And you can do basically, you know, any kind of setting that you want to. This the, this has wide ranging um, applications. So this sort of style of project. Well, there's some examples, and I'm going to do a really a intro slash base type um, layers contrast. It's going to be pretty simple. It's, it's going to be you know down and dirty we're just going to get the concepts in place and then when you go to do this project you can go as in depth as you want to so the first thing we're going to do I've already saved this project so make sure you save it um, that's the first step you want to do in any project next I'm going to um, go ahead and open up our previous project it comes in grouped now we have our two silhouettes all right so you can build all this in one project you can make it all in one project it it's not a big deal how you get all the pieces in there you can do multiple projects and bring them all in at the end or you can do all the pieces on one it's just according to how you want to to do it next we're going to set up our sort of artboard we will go down to document properties we're going to go ahead and switch this to 8.5 click the landscape button now we have a nice little landscape sort of art frame to work on so obviously we're going to take the snap off obviously they're a little big for this so let's press 4 bring everything up we still have that red stroke on Deadpool so I'm going to hold the shift key press that X get rid of that we're going to select both of them by holding down the shift key and clicking them now I'm going to come up to the corner arrow I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to drag them down alright that looks a little bit more reasonable to the size they should be alright so when you're working in layers contrast generally you want if it's closer to you you want it to be darker okay the further back in the the window the image that you go the lighter you want those to be until it sort of hazes out and, and just sort of fogs out now that works in everything any kind of drawing that you're doing if you even go to, to a window and you're sort of on a second or third story building especially and you can look out you'll notice that the trees and the buildings that everything that's closer to you number one they're they're closer to their actual size and number two they're more crisp and sharp and the colors are more vibrant the further that you move back from where you're standing everything gets smaller everything moves up in the frame um, and everything gets more more hazy more lighter you you don't see the edges as clear you don't see the colors as vibrant and that's mostly because um, there's you know the air is clear but there's particles in the air and you're seeing that so they're sort of fuzzing everything out and they're sort of diminishing the color just think about if it's a cloudy day you're not going to be able to see a mile away so with that in mind we're going to leave these guys the color they are in black because we're they're going to be center or closest to us in this picture in this frame now notice that everything so far we've had which are just these two silhouettes are on layer one we're going to go ahead and change that to foreground 
So now we know that everything that we're building here is going to be foreground. And remember the layer stack. Um, the higher up in the order they are, the closer they are. While we're working on the layers palette, I'll go ahead and create a new layer. I'll name it mid. I'm going to switch it to below current. And I'll do that again for back. And I will switch that to below current. Okay. Also, another thing to think about when you're working in the layers palette is that you can lock things, you can turn on and off the eyes to sort of see where everything's at. If you're not working on layers, it's always sort of a good policy to just lock it. And the reason we're using layers in this project is it keeps everything more organized. If you're doing a real simple image and you're only going to have five or six sort of objects, you probably don't have to use layers. But if you're getting really complex like Omar's or something like that, you might want to put them on layers just so you can um, turn the eyes off to see what's going on better. Um, you can actually lower opacity on that layer to add in some cool effects. And So working with layers is just an organizational tool mostly. Let's click back on the foreground layer. Let's put a floor for these heroes to be standing on. Maybe they're on top of a building. Okay. Now they're sort of they're sort of there. Hey, they're on a building top or something like that or maybe this is a ground. I think I'm going to lock the foreground. I think we're happy with that. We've got these three objects here and we'll start working on the midground. Now, like I said, you can you can Google search or you can look up lots of um lots of different layers vector contrast images um, keywords you're going to use for those google searches is vector contrast landscape vector contrast city swamp desert whatever you're looking for to sort of fill in your image you want to go to get a, you, you want to go to google and sort of find an image to help guide you on what it should look like you can also go outside and take your own photos too i'm going to just sort of wing it here and i'm going to do some down and dirty rough work so let's start about right here Oh, we unlocked the layer. Let's start about right here. Let's hold the control key. Now I am off the artboard, which is fine um, because we can cover all that and we can crop that up out. When you export your image, the stuff that hangs over when you export just the artboard, it doesn't get all that extra stuff, so you can sort of be loose with it. Now, it's the same color. For your middle area, you're going to want to go to a me medium grayscale, and if you look here on your color picker, 50% uh, gray, maybe even a 60% or 70%. So let's go 70. And we're starting to see, okay, that might be a little bit, maybe some buildings or something behind them. Um, you can always. And yes, and I know these are very simple, very simple just sort of windows. We're just doing this, like I said, down and dirty to get the techniques, get sort of figure out what's going on. Um, what else do I want to put on the mid? I think I want a second row. I'm going to hold down the control key. Let's lighten that up just slightly. And notice now, sort of above everything, very important. You can go to object and you can raise and lower things through here. You'll be using this a lot on layers contrast. You need to raise and lower the different objects after you make them. If something needs to be behind something, you can go to object and you can lower it. Okay, notice right here it lowered behind that last little um, window. Now, you can also lower the bottom to save some time. Alright, so now we got sort of a second set of buildings over here and I won't put windows in that. Now, I think we're happy with the mid. Let's go to unlock the back. Click on the back, unlock it. And now we're going to do the same thing. Maybe this time I will just use... There's another row of buildings back there. And let's do another one. We're going to make this even lighter. All right, let's select all them by holding the shift key and clicking on all those. You can turn them into a group if you want to. Control G. Then we will hit the page down button on your keyboard. 
Now they're sort of behind that other row. And the final touch, I think, I'm going to draw a big square like this. We're going to bring that to the bottom. I'm going to turn that into a black to make it look a little nightish. Maybe, maybe it's a nighttime. And there you go. So that's what we sort of have for a layers contrast project. Now look, this will not. This is just a really fast, down and dirty example of how you sort of layer your stuff in there. Remember, if it's in your layer stack, the further layer down, stuff's going to be further back. The higher it is, the closer it is. The closer it is, the darker it should be. So, like pure black, if it's in the foreground, a lot of times. You can also add gradients to things to add different effects. You can, um, you know, change the opacity of things to sort of make things glow. There's a lot of different techniques you can use to really make these come alive. But that's your general process of what's happening here. So if you want to see, let's go ahead and export this to see. File, export PNG. We want to do page. We're in a good spot and we'll export. So there's the sort of final work. All right. Thanks for watching.